Hey guys, so this is a pretty long overdue video, but thankfully it's finally here for those of you who care. So basically I'm doing two spreads in this video. I'm doing my movie and TV show wrap ups for June and July. Those months were pretty busy for me. So sorry that it's only just now coming, but yeah, it's here. So there's a lot of movies and TV shows to talk about. So I better get into it. Even if I have a pretty busy month, I usually still watch a lot because I usually have something in the background if I'm not listening to an audiobook or even when I'm editing I like to have something in the background so yeah these spreads are pretty simple I always keep it pretty simple for these wrap-up spreads but obviously I just wrote the title June and then I have some stars going on and then I also use some like loose stars with some glitter glue because I've been loving doing that lately but yeah so now I'm just going to talk about everything that I watch in June so I finished my rewatch of Pretty Little Lies season two with Cullen if you didn't know we were watching this well I was rewatching it and he was watching it for the first time and this was such a fun rewatch it's so nostalgic for me because I watched Pretty Little Lies when I was in high school and I loved it and it was just so fun seeing his reactions to things and I said in my previous videos that I just want to acknowledge that Pretty Little Lies does have a lot of problematic aspects so you know it's definitely not a perfect show but it's just a fun show to watch and it's just like I said very nostalgic but yeah so he found out who A was the first A I guess but we're not going to continue re-watching it because I feel like from season three onwards it just goes downhill like there are some good moments but season three to season eight or whatever it is it definitely goes up and down but anyway then we started watching Dear White People season one. This was amazing. So Dear White People currently has three seasons and they are renewed for a fourth. So we started watching season one in June and yeah, it's just so good. Like literally so well made. The cinematography is stunning. Um, I love how every episode like follows a different character. It's just so good. And I obviously love all the issues it explores in the show. And obviously the fact that most of the cast is black is amazing. So it's such a good show. Honestly, five and five stars for season one. But then we actually also watched watched season two and started season three in July and season two and season three are both still really good but I feel like it's not as good as season one I just feel like it's not as well made or maybe I'm just stupid but I definitely feel confused at points I don't know I just feel like I liked the structure of season one better because I'm pretty sure in season one every episode focused on a different character and I feel like it doesn't do that in season two and season three but once again maybe I have a bad memory or maybe I'm stupid I don't know I just feel like it's slightly different and I don't love it as much but it's still really good I still would give season two and season three four out of five stars so so yeah, definitely recommend the show. It's amazing. Then I watched the best movie of all time, <laughs> Creep. So Creep is like a found footage horror movie. Oh my God, this is such a good movie. It's honestly like a horror comedy. Like it's hilarious. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I mean, I think so. Like I don't think everyone will find it as good as I find it. But basically I did a Netflix party with my friends Caitlin and Jamie and we watched this together and it was one of my favorite movie watching experiences because it was just so funny and like our commentary throughout was just hilarious. So it was such a good movie. It's honestly a new favorite. <laughs> like it's just so funny. Once again, it is horror. So like, you know, some people would find it scary. I personally don't find it that scary. I don't know. It's just really classic to me. So I watched that with Caitlin and Jamie. And then of course I had to watch it with Callan too, because I was like, you need to watch this movie. So I also watched it with Callan and he also loved it. <laughs> but anyway, so then I also rewatched some episodes of That's So Raven. I do that a lot and I don't actually always document it because I do it so often, but That's Raven is just such a good show. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of people already know that. So anyway, then I watched this amazing show, Blood and Water. And wow, I watched this because of Amanda Beebe. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and she recommended this show and she did this whole video talking about it. And I wanted to obviously watch that video. So I watched the show and oh my goodness. So there's only season one so far and I think there's six episodes, but wow. I'm literally so in love. It's so well made, absolutely stunning to watch. It is produced by Netflix Africa. And basically the show is kind of dark. It deals with child trafficking. I don't want to say too much, but basically the main character's sister was taken away from her family when she was just born. And the main character thinks she has found her sister. So it's really interesting. And I really love the main character Peleng. And yeah, such a good show. So I actually rewatched that with Callan too, because once again, I was like, you need to watch this. And then we watched it together. That happens a lot, but anyway. Okay, and then I watched a few more episodes Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm slowly making my way through that amazing show. I definitely hope to finish it sometime in the near future. And then I rewatched really Edward Scissorhands because I watched that for the first time a few months ago and it's quickly become a comfort movie for me now. Like I just love the vibes and it's just such a good movie and I keep giving it four stars but I feel like it is five stars. I don't know. I just love it so much but anyway. And then I watched Creep 2 which is the sequel obviously to Creep 1 and this was once again amazing, hilarious, so funny. Loved it. I really hope they make Creep 3. I also use 
used my Pomemo printer to print out a photo from Creep because I wrote that as my favorite of the month. And I don't think it's like my favorite as in like, this is the best thing I watched, but it was just my favorite experience because it was so funny. And like, I watched it with Jamie and Caitlin and you know, all of that. <laughs> but it was honestly really hard to choose my favorite of the month for June because I watched so many good things. And then in July, I actually didn't even bother doing a favorite of the month because I didn't have any room. So anyway, so for July, I watched Beautiful Creatures, which is actually based on a YA book. And I didn't even know that this adaptation existed, but this was actually not that good. <laughs> like it was funny and fun to start with. It was one of those bad movies that you have fun watching, but it was like so long. So I really got sick of it quickly. So I gave it one star because I'm just annoyed that I wasted my time watching that movie, even though like I don't hate it or anything. It's just, it was way too long. So I got really bored, but maybe it's like a two stars because I did have fun in the beginning. Yeah, I think it's more of a two stars, but anyway, then I watched It's Okay to Not Be Okay, my new favorite K-drama of all time now. So yeah, this is a K-drama and it does deal with a lot of heavy topics because the main character does work in a psychiatric ward. So it does deal with mental illness, but it honestly deals with so many different things that I can't even mention everything now. But yeah, it's basically such an amazing show. So beautiful. There's some animation throughout, which I also love. I love the character so much. Just thinking about it makes me want to cry. Like I love it so much. And you know, once again, it is very dark and heavy at points. So you will cry a lot if you do watch this show, but I just think it's stunning and I love it with all my heart. Then I watched The Ring for the first time and I actually can't believe I haven't watched this before because this is obviously a classic horror movie but I hadn't watched it so I finally watched it and oh my goodness I literally loved it so much and I definitely understand why it's a classic like I just really thought the story was really interesting and the whole VHS like yeah I loved it. I don't think it was like super scary but I can see why back then people were always talking about how scary it was. <laughs> oh actually there was one scene involving a horse that was the most terrifying scene of the whole movie and I did have a nightmare because of that. <laughs> That's also probably because I have a fear of horses, but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I already talked about Dear White People. Then I rewatched Us, which is the horror movie directed by Jordan Peele, and it is one of my all time favorite movies. I just absolutely love it. So we bought the Blu ray and we rewatched it, and I just love that movie so, so much. Like, so much. It's so good. <laughs> everything about it. I can't even talk about everything. I'm running out of time. <laughs> but then I rewatched American Horror Story season one, and I love American Horror Story. I've only watched the first four seasons actually, but season one is my my favorite. I just feel like as the seasons went on, it got weird for the sake of being weird and shocking, which I didn't like. But season one, I love a good haunted house story. So season one is my favorite. And I have rewatched season one so many times. It's honestly like a comfort show for me now, like season one. Yeah, so I love season one and I have the DVD. And when I moved in, we didn't have internet. So I whipped out some DVDs and American Horror Story season one was constantly on repeat. <laughs> so I literally probably rewatched season one like four times in July because I had it on in the background. But anyway, I just love season one so much. Then I rewatched Clueless, which is obviously a classic. I mainly just had that in the background, but yeah, I love that movie. Then I rewatched Nightmare Before Christmas, which of course is one of my favorite movies ever. So, you know, five stars, obviously. Then I rewatched The Stepfather, which is actually a comfort movie for me. It is a horror and I wouldn't say like it's a really good horror, but for some reason, I just love it. It kind of reminds me of Disturbia in a way, but I don't know why, because I feel like they're not actually that similar, but it kind of reminds me of Disturbia and Disturbia is one of my favorites. But yeah, so I just love The Stepfather. <laughs> and then I rewatched Easy A, which I absolutely love that movie. It's such a classic. I studied it in school, so it has some good memories because it was really fun to study that. So of course that is another five stars. Lots of five stars in July, <laughs> as you can see. And then I rewatched Friday the 13th, another absolute horror classic. Yeah, so loved that rewatch too because it's been years and years since I watched it. So yeah, that's everything that I watched in June and July. And that is it for these spreads. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one.